Okay guys, so I'm going to be doing my hair today. This is what I'm going to be using, the L'Oreal Paris Color Rays. I'm going to be using Fuchsia, Fuchsia Flash. I've used this before and my hair was darker, so I lightened my hair and it's going to be lighter. Um, I'm just going to run through what's in the, what's in the box. Instructions. English and Spanish. Spanish. Uh, the conditioning shampoo. The actual color. The cream developer. And this little wand. The reason why I'm going to use this one for stirring, I'm not going to be using for applying because my natural hair is curly. It is straightened now. If you have really, really curly hair and you te and you sometimes wear it straight or you want to start wearing it straight or what have you, you want to change it up or you want to see exactly where you're going to be putting this product, straighten your hair first. At least, of course, I'm going to have to wash so and re-straighten it again. So don't go through too much, but, you know, do whatever you got to do. But the reason why I'm not going to use this spoolie thing, like, it's, this is clean, obviously, a mascara spoolie, it's going to get tangled in my hair. It did last time. It wasn't really helpful. I'm gonna, so I bought a brush from Sally's. I just did a, um, a haul video and on this. It was like this little bowl, and they gave you all the directions in it. So once again, this is the Color Rays. Um, the lady on the box is Asian. There's a red one. The lady on that box is African American. There's a blonde one, I think, where the lady on the box or the guy on the box you can use this. And it actually does say it's uh, recommend. It's not recommended, but it says that it's highly visible even on the darkest hair. So if you have dark dark hair, this will come out. And I did have dark. I had my natural hair color, which is dark brown, and it did come out. And uh, not dark brown. It's like literally like a soft black I guess is my natural hair color it hasn't been natural in so long okay let's get okay, right guys. to it so I just wanted another uh, note I did section I'm going to be doing the front of my hair all the way from a little bit past where I normally um, part my hair all the way to the other ear and then I hate waste hate waste I think it will, this will be just about enough, but if it's not and I have leftover, I'm going to be annoyed that I didn't section something else off. So I just sectioned, I'm holding the developer bottle over the thing. I just sectioned the three little streaks in the back, and that should be enough. So right now, I am, right now I am emptying the developer, the Color Raise Cream Developer, into the little tub. And, like I said, I hate waste, so every last drop. I've been holding it here for, like, two minutes now. Just to make sure I get everything out. And then I'm going to be opening and squeezing the color rays number part two in there. And then taking the wand, like I said, to do the mixing, but not to do the applying. Okay, the tube takes forever to squeeze out. The metal that, which makes a tube, is so sturdy... It took me at least four, five minutes to get it all out, and now I'm going to mix Okay, it. so I'm going to start. I also have little pieces of paper towel cut up and damp, just in case anything gets on my face. I already have something ready, um, and I also have an extra roll of paper towel here. I'm just going to make a few more of these, just in case, because it does stain, so you want to take care of... Um, any drops, any drips, basically right as it happens. And I line my sink with paper towels, the top with paper towels. So I'm going to go ahead and start now. Um, the hair is dry, it's detangled, it's combed up. You can see a little length test here. I'll put my blackberry next to it so you can kind of see. So that's the length of my natural hair blown out and... Um, I blew it out and I um, hot combed it. Okay, I'm going to use the clip because it's going to be easier to grab the clip and whatever. Okay, so I'm going to take my little thing, you mix it up to it's smooth. In here it does a fuchsia in the camera. Here, when you have it at home, it looks kind of red and you're like, what? But if you do it on a piece of uh, paper towel, the paper towel, you will see it. That's just from me wiping off my hand. Um, You'll see that it, it um, is pink in color. So I'm just going to go ahead and start. Now you you leave it on for 30 minutes after you finish. See this brush is so much easier. 
but my hair is already starting to curl. And I decided to do um, from the bottom over just because if I don't make it all the way, I don't want to have it just on the top. I'd rather come to it from the side up. Um, once I So I've laid down the color. I have this much left, so I'm just going to re-go through really quickly. Make sure I got all my edges, all my edges, because I can't stand. Put in the front, um, and just make sure all the hair is saturated with the color. Um, And I'm not going to do the sections in the back. There just doesn't look like there's going to be enough room. Enough. Well, we'll see. I'm going to go through and then see. You know what I really need? A close-up mirror. But anyway, so it went really smoothly. I suggest that if you are doing this on curly hair, to go to your local beauty supply, get a brush like this, because that wand is just basically going to be ripping through your hair. Like basically put a mascara spoolie through your hair. If you can get a mascara spoolie through your hair, then go for this the wand that's included. If you can't and um, it snags and catches and everything, just go ahead and get one of these brushes. It's like 99 cents or $1.99. Okay, so I'm going to kind of flip the hair this way, trying to keep it on top of itself and just go through and because not that I did it sparingly but I didn't put a lot originally so I'm just going to go through and add some more to make sure and make sure I get to the ends because you know where you hold it it was like the last little bit be following the directions. If you have any questions though, I literally have called the hotline for the color rays two times since I bought this product. Times people were there, both times they answered my questions quickly and they double checked. She was like, oh, I'm just gonna show you really quickly the aftermath of what my bathroom counter looks like. So this is the aftermath, okay, bucket's empty. That's in the sink right here. Um, instructions was right in front of me the whole time. Uh, the comb that I, I didn't really use, and then I uh, the, the the clip is in here somewhere. I stopped using it. About so halfway. the next step is to wait 30 minutes. Make sure your cleanup, um, everything that has a stain on it. There's a little bit right here. Just want to grab that, and it did stain a little bit. Uh, wait 30 minutes, and then you follow the directions, and I'll be back. Okay. Okay guys, so it's been around 40 minutes that I've had this on. It says 30. Um, then I always give a little grace period just because this was the last to get done. And if this is a little bit lighter, it's okay. Or darker, lighter, whatever. Um, so Put the, the gloves next back on. Time. Rinse your hair thoroughly with the warm water. Obviously you can see I took the gloves off. Um, warm water until it runs clear. Apply half of the conditioning shampoo, massage into the hair until it runs clear, and then repeat with the other half of the shampoo, dry and style as usual. So I know you're dying to see what my hair looks like, and I did take a peek of it in the shower because I have a mirror in the shower. My husband keeps a mirror in the shower for when he cuts his hair, he, to, so when he's in the shower he can see if he got everything. 
Anyway, so I'm going to kind of do the reveal at the same time. So here it is. What? Okay, in the shower I did see this a little bit. And this, this is the towel I just want you to see. It did come off a little. Oh, wait, can you see that? Whatever. Um, so this is the color. I love the color. You know what I'm not loving? I'm not loving the brown that I have back here. Um, the hair is in sections now. Um, so now I'm just going to blow dry first. And the first thing I'm going to put in each section is the thermal care, which is the, um, the heat therma, the heat tamer spray. And then I'm going to put in the straightening lotion. All while using um, a board brush. Then when I flat, when I hot comb, when I hot comb, I'm going to use this. And then when I flat iron, I'm going to use this. So, okay, bye. I'm not going to show you this part. It's corny. All right, so this is the finish. I blow dried it, um, I, actually the part you didn't really see, sorry guys, it was just taking too long, so I was like, why put you through watching me do it, I might as well just do it and come back to you, because it's basically done the same, everyone does the same, um, alright, so, let me give you a 360, and then I'll come back and tell you, I feel like it looks better in person, Okay, whatever. I'm going to have to put some pictures up. I'm not sure how it's picking up, but it is fuchsia. It might look red, but it is totally fuchsia. I'll put some pictures up, and I'll take some from Twitter. My son is singing Backyard Again, so that's what you hear. You guys are watching. This is the end result that I did from the coloring. Um, this is straightened. This this is blown out, hot pressed, and flat ironed. So I hope you guys enjoy. I really, really love this color, and I feel like it came out really good. I don't know. This is actually a color I feel like could get to the whole head. I think maybe my next because this is the back, it's like a brown, I think the next one I'm going to do is maybe do like a dark burgundy on the rest of the hair, um, and then just have the front be the lighter part, so that's it for today, um, I hope you guys like this video, if you have any questions about the, um, the color that I use, please leave me comments below, um, also, the bottom of your inf information sheet has a telephone number, a 1-800 telephone number, and they were great customer service yesterday. So, big shout out to L'Oreal Paris for really helping me decide on and make sure the color was the right one. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!